Okay, guys. Um, <clears throat> I had to delete my other videos because I didn't want to uh, impose false information. So I thought it'd be a good idea to rip those off. Sorry, I had to do it. Um, but I do have a problem that I need some help with, and I don't understand it. Um, I'm trying to measure the voltage I'm putting into my rodent coil. Uh, I've got a pulse width modulator. <coughs> Excuse me, it runs off a 555 timer. Circuit looks just like that. Um, that's for HHO projects, actually. Dave Longtown created that. Um, so that's what that is. And I am measuring across my input leads on my rodent coil. And <coughs> I showed you before where my meter was showing like really low voltage, like 0 0.2, 0 0.4 of a volt. Um, I switched it to this meter and um, it just freaks out. It just does random things. So I hooked it up to this meter, it did the same thing. I hooked it up to this meter, it did the same thing. I hooked it back up to this meter and I got that same low voltage. They actually show up with the frequency symbol up here. So I don't understand, I, don't, I just don't understand that. But this one doesn't have frequency setting on it so it just shows a random voltage which is false. Um, so I just need some help figuring out how I can check the voltage across my rodent coil input. Because right now it does not work. Um, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to switch a meter just to show you what happens here. So I'm going to put this on 200 milliamp. Okay, these are my leads for powering my rodent coil. You can see them there. One goes to this side and one goes to that side. Okay, I'm going to switch my milliamp setting here. Or my amperage, my amp meter, I should say. Okay, so my amperage is still about the same. That, that's working great. Now, if I plug in the power across my rodent coil, Put this on, uh, let's just set it on 200 volts. I get 0.3 of a volt. Now if I turn it off, turn it back on, or turn it down, Alright, so I'm going to plug in my rodent coil to this meter, across my rodent coil, flip it on, and this is what I get. Now I actually uh, just had it hooked up to this meter. I'm not getting nothing across it. I checked my leads. I tried different pairs of leads. I have the same problem. Plug it into this meter. See, there's my 0.26 volt DC. That's, that's what I was seeing. Now, if that's accurate, that's great, but uh, I don't think it is. So I'll switch it back here. AC DC button here. So here now I'm reading a voltage. So let's go ahead and put this back on 200 milliamp. So now I'm reading amperage again. I'm going to put this on voltage. And I'm just going to use a, another pair of leads so that you can see it's not the leads. I'm 
Okay. So I'm going to hook up my leads. This is my negative side of the coil. This is my positive side of the coil. Here are my leads. Common. Oh, sorry. So I've got a different set of leads. This is what's happening. So I can't figure it out. Somebody wants to help. That'd be awesome. Um, this is a help video. Help me! Next video I'm going to show you is the AC output. But I don't know the input. But I'm going to show you the AC output anyway. And the DC output. Alright. Watch the next video for more entertainment. Help me fix the problem of figuring how much voltage I'm putting in my rodent coil. Uh, yep. Oh, also. Um, I replaced every battery in every meter I own today so batteries not a problem something else